In this program, I want to take a look at how we name alkanes and halogenoalkanes. First of all, let's take a look at this molecule we've got here. We want to come up with a name for it. Step number one says the first thing we need to do is identify the longest continuous chain. So if I start at this carbon and I go one, two, three, four, five, six, that forms my longest continuous carbon of chain. And hence I know the parent name of this material. It's going to be called something hexane. Number the chain from the end closest to any branches. So here in blue I've numbered it beginning at this end. Let's look at starting at the other end and numbering in the reverse direction. If I look at the branches off the chain using the red numbers, I have a branch coming off here at carbon number two and another one here coming off at carbon number four. That's a lower set of numbers than if I use the blue numbers. I come up with the blue numbers, I have a branch at carbon number three and two at number five. So it's lower if I use my red numbers. Now, the next thing is to identify and give the address of any of the branches. So in this case, I have branches at two and two, and here a branch at four. I now come up with the names of these branches. And here quickly is some of the branches that are fairly common in organic chemistry. There are some carbon branches, methyl, ethyl, and propyl, depending on the length of the branch of carbons in the chain. And also we can have halogens coming off, fluorine, chlorine, or bromine, and then your appropriate prefix, fluoro, chloral, or bromo. So in my particular case, um, I have two chlorines coming off, so I would refer to them as 2,2-chloro. And because there's two of them, I would employ dichloro with a hyphen. Up here, this is a methyl group, so this branch would be called 4-methyl. So those must come in front of the word hexane. They're done in alphabetical order. I refer to the chloro and methyl here um, to determine alphabetical priority. So the first to be mentioned will be my chlorine groups. So I would call this particular material 2,2-dichloro-2-methyl. Dash now I would refer to methyl, and that's going to run up right against the word hexane. There's no hyphen. So this would be referred to as 2,2-dichloro-4-methyl-hexane. Let's see if we can go in the other direction, meaning given a name, draw a substance. So here's the substance I want to try to draw, 224-trimethylpentane. I'll begin with the parent name. So I know that the material must have five carbons in it. The branch is coming off at carbon number two and four. So if I number them one, two, I've got two branches coming off at carbon number two, and I have another branch happening at carbon number four in the chain and coming off are methyl groups. Um, so CH3 here, CH3 here, and CH3 here. To complete the structure, I make sure that carbon has the required number of bonds by adding hydrogens. This carbon has only two, so it's going to need two more hydrogens. And the terminal or final carbon here, it's going to need three. And carbon number four here has got three bonds, so there must be a hydrogen here. So these are some basic rules governing the naming of alkanes and halogenoalkanes, and we'll follow this up when we look at multiple bond situations and other functional groups. Thanks for watching.